Oh man, so Michael Irvin has filed a hundred million dollar lawsuit against an unnamed accuser at a hotel for defamation, man. She's trying to hit that boy on some Me Too type stuff. I'll get into some more details, but let's see him reacting, man. He got really, he got really emotional. Let's see what Michael Irvin had to say right here. She, a woman had come around the corner, kind of met Michael at the corner. They had, they had a very brief interaction that was, you know, super, you know, friendly, lots of laughter. And Michael went back to his room. I went back to my seat. And two days later, I, I read about the story that we're talking about now. Um, at any point in time, did you see anything that caused you concern, you thought was inappropriate? Uh, Mr. Irvin should have done that, just done toward. Did you see anything like that? Well, it's frozen. It's frozen Zoom. He is in Europe. <clears throat> um, guys, if he comes back, I'll do it. Uh, other than that, I think that concludes our press conference. Um, these gentlemen have offered to take questions if you want to. We're not going to take questions based on the fact that we still have this current lawsuit going on. So I appreciate everybody showing up today. Let me say this. Okay. I kind of want to just listen in to, to, to Bill talk because I'm struggling. This is what I struggle with, you know. You try to, and you try to be an ambassador of the league and also understand that God has blessed me and, and given me a platform and try to touch people, try to raise people, try to lift people up. I, and, and, and I don't know, I, I met a lot of fans, but I've always tried to be good with people. You know, I'm struggling now saying, do I determine, do I not talk to people? What do I do, you know? Because of this kind of a situation, I know I didn't do anything wrong. I knew I didn't do anything wrong, and I was trying to do everything right. So it's just, you know, though, though, though I say that, I gotta come back to this moment. Had I not said to these guys, you know what, you cool guys, let's go outside and take that picture you know, then they wouldn't have been right there with me. And that would have been a moment that I've had alone. And I know nobody's going to listen to what I say. Nobody, still, at least Mary, I don't want to hear what we have to say. Don't want to hear what I have to say. No one don't even care to share. So, you know, I just got emotional thinking about it because I'm struggling with that on what to do moving forward after I deal with all of this. That's all I want to say. That's a messed up situation that Michael Irvin's in because um, I don't know the age of the person, um, but if it's an older person, then that person is definitely foul. Because this person probably looked at Michael Irvin as an easy target based on his reputation. Now, I know a lot of us young folks probably don't really know the, the young, wild Michael Irvin, but yeah, that boy, is, he was a young, wild boy. And I'm not going to get into that because that was his past. But he was a young, wild boy. And if it's an older person, they probably like, oh, Michael Irvin, I'm going to go ahead and say some shit about him. Some shit happened between us two. I'm going to say allegedly because um, I just have to because I don't know all the facts. But let's get into what led to this point right here. So Michael Irvin is suing Marriott for $100 million after an employee at the Renaissance Phoenix Downtown Hotel claimed that he made harassing and inappropriate comments on February 5th to the worker who was listed as Jane Doe in court records. Now, attorney named Levi McCatherine said that he was able to view the video in question, but was not allowed to record it and says the video shows Irvin making contact four times with the accuser, twice brushing up against her elbow and twice shaking her hands. The accuser has not filed any police report with the Phoenix Police Department. Now, he says the allegations are nonsense. McCatherine said we need to immediately get Michael back to work. Two witnesses who were with Irvin at the hotel saw the incident appeared via video at a news conference and backed Irvin's claims of what happened. Now, Irvin said, it sickens me. It takes me back to a time where a white woman would accuse a black man of something and they would take a bunch of guys that were above the law, run in the barn, put a rope around his foot and drag him through the mud and hang him by a tree. Now, he says, "Um, how can I defend myself? I don't know what I'm being accused of, said Irvin. Who added that he hasn't seen the video? Damn. I don't even know what this woman looks like. That blows my mind that in 2023, we're still dragging and hanging brothers by a tree. I know I didn't do anything wrong. So that's crazy. Just someone, he's a famous person. He's a famous man. He's just probably being nice to people that sees him and just being cordial, just being the gregarious, full of energy of Michael Irvin that we all know and love. And someone takes advantage of that and put these claims on him that's crazy he don't even know who it is 
That's crazy. So um, they said that he was in town to do Anna's work for NFL Network and ESPN Super Bowl coverage and was removed from the hotel later that night and subsequently pulled from those assignments after the incident became public. In an attempt to get this case dismissed, Marriott argued that it has a lack of personal jurisdiction and does not own the Renaissance Phoenix Downtown Hotel where Irvin and the staffer interacted. So it seems like the Marriott is shook because whomever he had an interaction with they trying to come up on that man that's how that's my hunch that's my hunch but um if he has the confidence to go ahead and sue them for 100 million dollars like right now right now because yeah that's defamation in my opinion that's defamation but if he has the confidence to go ahead and sue them for 100 million dollars i don't think that man did anything man that's that's how i feel about it if more information come out i'll keep you guys updated but in the meantime, y'all stay safe out here, dog. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though. It's your boy, Stacy. Yo.